Hey y'all, in 4 H and H here. Hope I can catch this guy before he's gone. Okay, that's a soda station, K4 KPK, up in Tennessee on 40 meter band here. Uh, I want y'all. When he comes back, I'm gonna let you look at the S meter, and then I'm gonna switch over here and let you look at the SP. I don't know if you can tell the difference there. I just switched the uh, up here on the. Uh, let me use this camera angle. Some up here on the SM5000. I just switched it to phase reversal. No phase reversal. I just don't know if you can hear that with the iPhone. Okay, there it is with the uh, phase reversal. Now I want you to hear what he sounds like with no help. I'm using, uh, let me switch over here a little bit so you can see it's the DSP. So I'm using the uh, mute tuner, disengaging that, and DSP uh, noise reduction, digit D and R at seven. There's no noise reduction. And then here's IPO. Now I'm back to amp one. So there we are, listening to everything coming in to the receiver. I have a washing machine that is running uh, upstairs and it uh, produces uh, a horrendous noise. It is a computer controlled with an inverter drive. So to hear Kevin, I went to IPO1 to knock some of it down. Digital noise reduction seven. And then I engage the mute tuner, and I'm going to hit the, uh, well, I guess Kevin's done now, but I'm glad you got to hear him there at the beginning. I'm going to uh, reset right here, this reset button with the mute tuner selected. So what I did was, while Kevin was talking, you see that not most of that noise out. Um, so a combination again of, let me, uh, there's amp one. Turning off digital noise reduction too. So there's mu tuner alone. Mu tuner off. Mu tuner on. I'm going to go to IPO1. I could kick in an attenuator too, 6 dB. I didn't. Uh, it wasn't necessary by the time I kicked in the digital noise reduction and the mu tuner. And then what I did was. I moved the mute tuner a little bit to the right to knock the noise floor virtually out. I mean, until all I heard was Kevin. So I just wanted you guys to uh, see there uh, um, another example of uh, you know using combinations of features. In this case, knocking the noise first down and uh, knocking it down first in the front end with the uh, mute tuner, the pre-selector. Um, and if you don't have a mu tuner for the Ye Yaesu FTDX 5000, you can you will see what's called VRF pop up, and it'll accomplish a similar thing, uh, just not to as large of a degree, but you can still sweep it left or right until you can still hear the station that you're listening for, but the noise floor drops down. Um, in fact, um, I'll go ahead into the menu here. And uh, let me find where you turn. I forget now where Mutune is. I will find it right quick. And uh, oh, there it is right there. So Mutuner off, save, long press the menu button. Now you'll see that uh, over here in the display, it says VRF instead of the Mutune symbol. So So with the, the difference is the VRF doesn't track the VFO, so it doesn't automatically center up at whatever frequency you're on. So it looks like if you just turn the uh, VRF, uh, rotate the dial until you get the strongest signal, listen.
looks like about 226 on the dial gives me the uh, strongest signal. Well, then what you would do is roll left or right until you knock the noise floor down. Okay, in this case, I'm up at the top edge of that, so I'm gonna roll it left. So you roll it until you can still hear the station, but the noise floor is knocked down. Now, uh, trying to find another signal in here. Well, they're obviously not on uh, lower sideband. Uh, oh, this guy's strong. Okay, there we go. We're rock and rolling up here uh, today. Uh, we're working our way back to home. Thanks for reaching out to us. Yeah, no problem at all. You got great weather for it out being outside. That's just fantastic. Y'all enjoy yourself, 73. Uh, KC4CLF, I'll be clear with your final. Roger, roger. Uh, K4BNC, 73. You are dead. Okay, I think my local noise has actually stopped now, so uh, it's all good. But like I said, if, for those of you who do not have... Um, a mu tuner you do have with the 5000 this vrf pre-selector built in and the only difference is it's just it, it doesn't track the vfo and it doesn't have quite as good a selectivity as the mu tuner does but hey it's built in uh comes with the radio the mu tuner just kind of puts that on steroids a little bit with a, a narrower band pass but uh, anyway, glad you got to hear that in the very beginning um, with Kevin clarified by using the combination of, in, in that case, I was using uh, the Mu Tuner, but, and then IP01 and digital noise reduction at seven. Okay, hope you found the video helpful and informative. And again, thank you to the, my Patreons who help keep the channel alive by uh, uh, donating through www.patreon.com slash n4hnh. Thank you so much. 73 from N4HNH.